Hello everybody, my name is Becky Overbeck. Welcome to the Babe Cave. We used to be able to have this discussion one-on-one -on -one in person, but now most things are done virtually because of COVID-19. So today I wanted to discuss fat loss. When it comes to fat loss, it comes down to calories. How many calories we're consuming. So every one of us has a different amount of calories that our body needs. If we consume more calories than our body needs consistently, it is going to store those calories as fat on your body. To get the fat off of your body, we need to consume fewer calories, forcing our body to use our stored fat as fuel. So to figure out your own personal calorie daily allowance or budget, um, you take your body weight and you multiply it by 11 or 12 based on your um, activity level. So if you're super active, you might want to multiply your body weight even by 12 or 13. If you're someone who doesn't move a lot, um, maybe your job has a lot of sitting, you're going to multiply your uh, body weight by 11 or 12, so in there. When you do this, you're going to get a number. For most people, it's between 1,300 calories to 3,000 calories uh, per day. Now, there's a free app you can download called MyFitnessPal. So download this app and you're going to start being conscious of how many calories you are consuming. And this includes beverages as well. Every bite, every lick, every taste. Um, I'm going to explain calories to you kind of like how you think of money. So I often uh, think of calories, pretend you go into a mall. Can anybody remember the last time you were in a mall? Here in Ontario, we're still in lockdown. So you go into a mall. I remember when I was young and maybe uh, I had $100 in my bank account and you go into the mall and you go into your first store. Uh, for us here in Canada, I would walk into maybe an Arden and I bought a little pair of earrings for $5. So you tap your debit card, right? And then you go into the next store and maybe you buy a cute shirt for $10 and you tap your debit card. And you go throughout the day, maybe you're at the mall for a few hours. And then you're about to leave the mall and you head into the food court and maybe you're going to buy uh, a salad. So you go to tap your debit card and the machine says declined. And you go, what? I have $100 in my bank account. The thing is, you've been spending in tiny little increments all day that $100 without even realizing it. And then all of a sudden you're out of your, your money and you have none left. So calories, I want you to think of calories the same way as your actual money. So if you budget properly, you never have to starve yourself. Uh, you never have to feel overly hungry. Um, and we're gonna explain all of that. But first, calories, how do we track them? So it's important when you wanna lose weight that you are conscious first of the calories. So first, when you go to the grocery store and you pick out your food off the shelf. So let's say you're getting crackers. So there's two uh, crackers you might be choosing between. So you're gonna pick them up and you're gonna read the label. Now for these crackers, you get uh, four of them for 100 calories, okay? And this box, you can have 20 crackers for 100 calories. So if you choose the one that you get 20 crackers for 100, you are going to be able to eat more for the same amount, okay? So you're stretching your calorie budget. So when you, I have, um, I'm gonna show you calories. I have Magnum's uh, chocolate peanut butter quattro here. So anytime you're buying food at the grocery store, I want you to look at the label, okay? So I'm gonna come behind to show you. So here's the label here. So you can see that it says the nutrition facts. Per one rounded scoop, which is 37 grams, it is 130 calories, okay? So what you're going to do then is either with a weight scale or you're going to use the scoop that's inside the container and you, you actually measure it out. 
so you put that in. Now, remember it's 130 calories for the scoop of Quattro, but what are you mixing it with? So if you have that MyFitnessPal app, you can actually just scan the barcode and it will track it for you. If you are not into apps, you can even just write it down. So write down, for breakfast I had a Magnum Quattro shake and it was 130 calories in my scoop. But then what are you mixing it with? So if you mix it with water, water is about the only thing on the planet that has zero calories, okay? Uh, if you hear this food's calorie free, it's very rarely that is the case. Almost all food and beverage have calories except water. Another good option to mix with your Magnum Quattro would be almond milk or um, cashew milk unsweetened. So both of those have about 25 to 35 calories per serving. So again, you're going to take your milk out of the fridge, you're going to read the label, say it was uh, 16 ounces, so you're going to measure out 16 ounces uh, into your shaker cup, and then you'll say, okay, I had 130 calories in my Magnum, and then I had 25 calories in my milk. And you write it down, or you use your fitness pal. Okay, so that's a great shake. Now, what if you added a banana? So if you're unsure how many calories are in a banana, you can Google it or use your fitness pal tracker, um, but you can Google how many calories in a banana. So let's say it's 100 calories. So now your shake is 130 plus the 25 plus the 100 in the banana, okay? So you repeat this all throughout the day. Every time you're about to have a snack, a lunch, a dinner, a meal, whatever it is, a beverage, you're going to read the label and then follow the portion size. If it says half a cup is 50 calories, you're going to have half a cup and write down 50 calories. Where we go wrong is when we mindlessly snack throughout the day and we are not conscious of it. And by the end of the day, we can't even remember how many calories we consumed. So for most people, when I go over it with them, I'll ask them to send me what are you eating in a day? So they'll give me a list. Most people are consuming between 4,000 and 6,000 calories a day without even realizing it. By stopping at fast food places, uh, beverages, pop, juice, alcohol, all of these things add up so quickly. Another one that adds up very quickly, oil. So any type of oil, whether it's coconut oil, olive oil, vegetable oil, all of the oils, about that much is 100 calories. So you're gonna cook up your chicken breast, okay? So you've taken out a chicken breast or a protein of your choice and you put it in the pan, but you tracked it, but you forgot about the 300 calories of oil that you put in the pan. Okay, so be conscious of oil. A good substitute for oil is non-stick spray. That is one we recommend. Uh, you can buy those at the grocery store. Seasoning, so you can use seasonings to make your food taste good. You don't need butter. Butter's the same as oil, so that, about that much is 100 calories. Um, chicken stock or vegetable stock makes a great option to make your pan less, you know, sticky. So you can cook your chicken without oil. Use chicken stock, vegetable stock, whatever, one of those. You can even use water. Um, and seasoning, yes, are great to add flavor without adding a million calories. Other foods that we want to be conscious of, so we often hear that healthy food is, is great, healthy food is great. The problem is it's very calorie dense. So when you think of nuts, everybody says, oh, nuts are an awesome snack. Um, so in about a handful of nuts, about this big, you're looking at about 300 uh, and 30 calories. So 330 calories, which is about equivalent to a cheeseburger. Okay, so being conscious that, that your healthy food has that many calories. Same as an avocado, so an avocado is great, but it does have about 300 calories for one. So if you're gonna have avocado, maybe you have a little uh, wedge instead of the whole thing. Um, cheese is very high in calories, so about the size of your thumb, one cube of cheese is 100 calories, so it can add up very quickly as well. Alcohol, 
one shot of alcohol is 100 calories. And then remember whatever you're mixing with your alcohol. So if you're having a shot of uh, vodka, if you're mixing it with club soda, that's a, a lighter option. Club soda is zero calories, but tonic water is not unless you get diet tonic water. Okay, so being conscious all throughout the day, tracking your calories and remembering if I consume more calories than my body needs, it's going to store them as fat. So to get the fat off, I need to consume fewer calories than my body needs, forcing it to use my stored fat as fuel. All right, and then uh, there are supplements that can help you with weight loss. So if you're tracking your calories and you're in a deficit, so we need to create that deficit where you're, you're consuming uh, less than your body needs, right? But some people say, well, I'm too hungry and I need to eat and I need to, of course we need to eat and we want you eating the right things. Focus on volume. So vegetables like cucumber and tomatoes and celery and spinach, mushrooms, onions, all of those things are very low calorie. So you can really fill up, make a big salad and fill up on those things and then add your protein because protein is so important uh, with weight loss and maintaining your muscle and building muscle. So chicken breast without the skin is a great option. Tuna, white fish, um, turkey is a great option. Ground turkey is way lighter than ground beef. Uh, for vegetarian options or vegan options, there are so many options. You could boil up uh, egg whites. Uh, so hard boiled egg whites are a great option for protein. Um, for those who are vegan, you have uh, tofu, you have seishin, um, beans, lentils, just so many options. Um, watch your salad dressings, watch your dips. So every time you dip that carrot, how many calories are you consuming in just the dip? So make sure again to read your labels and follow your portion sizes on your dips and your salad dressings. Really look for lighter options. You're looking for the calories, okay? Uh, so reading labels. Now, as I mentioned, there are supplements that can help with fat loss. How do they help you with fat loss? Well, one of my favorites is Magnum's Afterburner. I'm gonna come behind here, Magnum's Afterburner. So this is a supplement with no caffeine. It's not gonna keep you awake. It's not a, an energy booster. You take three at night before you go to bed. Now, Magnum's Afterburner helps to suppress your appetite. So if you are someone who's constantly hungry, you have a huge appetite, Afterburner can really help you with that. It also helps to shrink your fat cells. We can't get rid of fat cells, but we can shrink them or increase the size of them. Also, it helps with uh, burning fat and increasing your metabolism. All right, so that's Afterburner. This one is $50 Canadian. It's awesome. And there's Marcus. He's the owner of the company. Okay, uh, another great supplement is Magnum's Heat. So this is Magnum's Heat, and this one does boost your energy. It does have caffeine in it. So if you're someone who is sensitive to caffeine, this one is not for you. If you can handle caffeine, if you like coffee, this is an amazing supplement. That helps with burning fat. It helps to boost your metabolism. Uh, one of my favorite things about heat is it reduces your stress hormone cortisol. So if you're someone who has a lot of stress and anxiety in your life, Magnum's heat is amazing. It has a lot of natural adaptations and herbs. The one that helps with stress is called rhodiola. Okay, so this one's great. Again, with all Magnum supplements, they are capsules and they dissolve really quickly. So you wanna make sure that you drink plenty of water when you take your supplements, okay? Um, another couple of great ones, Magnum's Fasted Cardio. So this is like heat, it's similar to heat, but it's in a powder form that you add to your water. So this is a thermogenic that's going to boost your energy. You take it before you're working out. Um, in the morning or before your workout and it's going to help burn fat it's going to help increase your energy and speed up your metabolism and it tastes delicious this is the enter the vortex there are three other flavors of fast cardio this is 55 Canadian um, and this is my favorite flavor 
I don't know how I can choose. They're all great. The orange drive through Rise and Grind is so good. If you like creamsicles, delicious. Um, and then the last one for... There's a, a few more Magnum supplements with fat burning. Here's another one. It's acid. Uh, it's a conjugated linoleic acid. You take two in the morning, two uh, in the afternoon, and two in the evening. Um, and this one helps, again, with burning fat, uh, suppressing your appetite. Um, a lot of great things acid does. And look who's on it. Me. All right. So those are a few of the Magnum fat burning supplements. Uh, if you have questions about this video, please feel free to leave your comments or message me directly. It works, I promise you. If you have been trying many other things, if you've tried certain diets or anything and it's not working, or maybe it has, but the weight has come back, I promise you that tracking your calories works. Um, we have worked with over 2,000 people here at the Babe Cave in person and countless thousands online. And I can promise you it works. So all you have to do is download that free app, My Fitness Pal. Start tracking your calories you're consuming. Be conscious of how many you're consuming. Read the labels. Follow your portion sizes. Be conscious. Um, Drink lots of water, get enough sleep, get out in nature, move your body. It's important to find an exercise you love and exercise every single day. Uh, do something you love. If you love to dance, if you love to run, if you love to skip, if you love to bike, swim, bounce, lift, find an exercise you love. So it's something that you're excited to do and you are, um, you're looking forward to it. Not something that you're like, oh, I have to go work out, I hate it. You don't want to find, you want to find something you love. You're welcome to join our live workouts. We are live Monday to Friday, 10, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 5.35 p.m. as well, Eastern Standard Time. You're welcome to join us. We love it more the merrier. As well, our YouTube channel has over 500 free workouts that you can do right from home. So we want to get you burning more calories, consuming fewer calories, while maintaining your muscle, so you're consuming lots of lean protein, drinking lots of water, staying hydrated, stay positive, write down your goals, and uh, let's, let's, smash some, some, let's smash some goals together, right? All right, uh, we're proud of you, you got this, and we're here if you need anything. Good job.